Welcome back to Live Now from Fox and good morning to you. If you are just now tuning in, I'm Jean A. Francine waking up with you here bright and early on this Easter Sunday, taking you out to Washington, D.C., giving you a live look out at the White House now at 841 on the East Coast. And we are following some breaking news as it relates to President Biden. According to our content partners over at the Associated Press, President Joe Biden is facing criticism this morning from Donald Trump's campaign and religious conservatives for proclaiming March 31st, which corresponds with Easter Sunday this year, as Transgender Day of Visibility. The Democratic president issuing the proclamation Friday, calling on all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work toward eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. Again, that quote coming from the Biden White House as we work to give you um, all of these events here on Live Now from Fox. I actually want to show you uh, a, a White House proclamation as it relates to this. There it is on your screen showing you what I just read off. We do know, though, back in 2024, as it relates to this year, the March 31st designation overlaps with Easter today, one of Christianity's holiest celebrations. Trump's campaign accusing Biden, a Roman Catholic, of being being insensitive to religion and fellow Republicans piled on. They say, quote, we call on Joe Biden's failing campaign and White House to issue an apology to the millions of Catholics and Christians across America who believe tomorrow is one for celebration only, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That um, quote coming from the lady there on your screen, as we know, the Trump campaign's press secretary, that's who she is, she has said what she called the Biden administration's years-long assault on the Christian faith. Now, she wasn't the only person to speak up. House Speaker Mike Johnson also saying on social media that, quote, the Biden White House has betrayed the central tenet of Easter and called the decision, quote, outrageous and ridiculous. Now, actually, White House spokesperson Andrew Bates said the Republicans criticizing Biden are seeking to divide and weaken our country with cruel, hateful and dishonest rhetoric, a tactic he says is being used amid this election season. But as we continue to follow uh, breaking news and top stories on this Easter Sunday, sharing this with you as there is some controversy <laughs> this Easter Sunday this morning. As we know, Biden has declared transgender day of visibility set for March 31st, which this year falls on Easter Sunday. I'm Jeanne Francine, the time now 843 on the East Coast. Let's go ahead and go to our final two minute commercial break of the hour. And when we come back, we'll be heading out to Vatican City, getting the very latest this Easter Sunday as the Pope held mass out in that area. More details when we come back in just two quick minutes.